expansion expansion slots over here. What we've got is PCI, two PCI expansion slots, one PCIe expansion slot, that's X16, and one PCIe, that's X1. Now, the thing to notice here is if you want to tell between a PCIe and a regular PCI, is PCIe's have this clip right here that keeps the card seated, an extra security measure, and normal PCI ones, these don't. These are just empty expansion ports. Now, um, normally in a PCI, you would put your sound card probably if you want 5.1, and in a PCIe, you'll put your graphics card, and in a PCI X1, it's rarely you rarely put anything there, but you can put maybe a network card or um, a USB expansion, something similar. Now, here, this is what's known as a south bridge, and this is what's known as a north bridge. Well, under the heat sink it is. Now, see, there we go, we've got both in the shot. Um, the south bridge, if I remember right, um, connects all the inputs and outputs of various places, and it connects it to the rest of it. And the north bridge connects the CPU and all the others together. It's all part of the computer architecture, the motherboard architecture. And that can be pretty hard to explain, so I'm going to get um, a picture in the video description, just so you can see it. Uh, now, what else have we got? We've got the CPU itself. These are always seated very securely. I'm going to take mine out now. And um, normally, it's a standard setup like this. You'll, it'll have a layer, this is why it's mine's grey, have a layer of heatsink paste. And uh, mine's very old, so very dry heatsink paste. And um, let me just try and get that out. You always want to take it out in a vertical motion, but that's the socket. Um, you won't be able to see it on the camera very easily, but there are loads of pins sticking out. Oh yeah, you can see it a little bit. Loads of pins sticking out. And on the CPU, we see no pins. A pinless CPU. You can always tell which way they go in, because it'll have a little arrow on the corner, and that will correspond to um, the arrow that's down here. There'll be another arrow. And um, you put, and put those in as vertically as possible. And then you seal it up. There we go. Now normally I'd have a heat sink on that. This is the heat sink I got. Big old heat sink. You can see where the heat sink paste was. Um, this all connects to the case, uh, and that what keeps the CPU cool. There would also be a fan on one of the sides, I think it's this side, and that will keep all the hot air off. Okay then, so, here we see onboard speaker. If your computer ever fails the post test, the power on self test, then it will make a series of beeps, and you can diagnose what's wrong with it through the internal speaker. Um, what else have we got? Aha, yeah. Over here, in the back, we can see a lot of tiny, tiny little chips over here. A lot of them. These are called MOSFETs. Um, it stands for, like, a series of words, but I can't remember what they are, but they're called MOSFETs. And, um, you can, on most motherboards, you can buy heat sinks for them now, because they run pretty hot. But, um, they're, they're not that important. Uh, we've got another power supply for the motherboard there, just a little 4-pin. And over here we see that you can see it's labelled fan CPU. And this is what connects my fan, my CPU's fan to the motherboard. It gains power from there. Also we've got another, these things with pins on them. Let me just take that off. See that it's got pins on them. These are called jumpers. And um normally you connect them by having something like this on them and I can't remember which way I had it on there, kind of screwed but if you want to reset your BIOS password then you set the jumper to a different configuration for a couple of seconds then set it back and then it should change back let me just try and get that on again, there we go and there's another set of jumpers over there and I think that's the only jumpers I've got Yep. 
on most motherboards now you'll see that the instead of having a front panel connector like that you'll see that it has lots and lots of jumpers for different things now a final point to cover is that it has lots of capacitors on it all these capacitors and um, a common fault with motherboard I'm, with motherboards I'm told is that you can see on the capacitors there's like a, a symbol on the top where it's got an ingrained triangle thing um, if a capacitor ever blows it might that's where all the pressure is released from because that's the weakest point and um, the electrolyte inside a capacitor will leak out or it might leak out the bottom so you can tell if you've got a blowing capacitor by if the capacitor looks dodgy or there's some discoloration of the PCB and uh, that's how you tell that's a, that's a, I'm told it's come fault. if anyone can tell me what these copper coil things are I'll be so grateful because I have no idea what they are I've got absolutely no clue and I don't even know what they do I've just never found out but if anyone can tell me that would be brilliant but a final thing that I'm going to show you is that a lot of the stuff on the motherboard is um, has got labels on it see another soldering point PS2 debug it tells you what what it all is fan CPU password um, what else can I show you over here it says that this is the this is the audio input you see that there there are labels all over it to tell you to make sure you know what everything is and um, but you should always always check your motherboard manual before you do any sort of repair any sort of removal make sure you check it just get all the stuff you need to know out of it because otherwise you're sort of going in blind alright um, I'm going to do my next video soon um, it's probably going to be on uh, power supplies